A natural disaster may leave you with water that's unsafe to drink. So it's important to know how to clean it up and make it safe. We'll talk about that today. Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. So Kurt, this might be the only water you have available to you after a disaster. That's, that's not too appetizing, Jeff. That stuff that's floating on the top, that's full of pathogens and viruses that are gonna make you sick and miserable. So what's the best thing to do? Let's just let it settle for a minute. Okay. But I need you to go find me a few things. All right. Our water's now been sitting for a little while. Okay. And you can see that most of the contaminants have fallen to the bottom. Okay. So we need to clean this up a little bit. Yeah, because it's not safe to drink right now. It's not drinkable yet. We've got to filter it out. So I want you to line the strainer with a paper towel. All right. Okay, now put that on top of the empty bottle. Okay. And take your unstrained water and just pour it in so that we keep the contamination on the bottom the best we can. Okay. Okay, now once you've strained it with the paper towel, then you can put it on the stove, you can boil it for five minutes, let it cool down, and now you're ready to drink the water. Okay, but what if I don't have a fuel source? Then that's when your liquid bleach is gonna come into play. Okay. So what you wanna do is uh, fill your dropper up with some unscented bleach. Okay. Basically, you want about three drops per quart. All right, done. And that'll clean it up great. So I should have some uh, bleach in my storage. You should have bleach in your storage, but the liquid bleach isn't going to last. It won't have a good shelf life. But if you buy some dry bleach, now this stuff is uh, hypochlorate, calcium hypochlorate. And if you mix it with water, it'll become bleach. Okay. And a package like this can literally clean thousands of gallons of water. So that's a good thing to have in your storage. Now, if all else fails, we're gonna take this two liter bottle, we're gonna fill it full of water, and I'm gonna take you outside and show you how to purify it. Oh, well, this I gotta see. Sunny day like this is a perfect day to disinfect our water. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to shake this bottle up significantly and get that oxygen pumped through the water. Now what's this black cloth for? So the black cloth is designed to help the heating process. So the infrared light will help bring the water up to temperature so that it kills the germs. And then the ultraviolet uh, light stimulates the oxygen that we just okay. shook into the water and it helps to kill the germs. Leave this water out here for six hours and allow it to work through its process. Okay, well what if it's a cloud cover day and it's not a beautiful day like, you know, now? Then it'll have to stay out in the sun longer. And if you don't have any sun, this process doesn't work. It's good to know some simple tools can help you clean up your water in an emergency. Take 20 minutes to review with your family the steps to disinfecting water. I'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to Ready Emergency Preparedness Guide. Ooh.